Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. Alongside Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. We'll be joined by Allie LaForce courtside. Allie, it's all yours. Well, Devin Booker went through the lean years in Phoenix. He said, quote, I just put my head down and I work. I've been through a lot, honestly. But just being who I am and seeing the bigger picture, I had the tunnel vision to know what this can be. Brian, a lot of players in that situation haven't been able to see it through like he did. That's true, Allie. Good stuff there. Here are the five for the Suns. The deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. Kevin Durant is out there with Josh Okoge. And it's Aiden in at the center position. And for the Pacers... Halliburton at point next to Dorte. They're the backcourt. Buddy Heald is out there with Neesmith. And it's Turner in at the center, filling out the middle. And looking at both of these teams, Richard, both great passing squads, two of the better assist teams in the NBA. This is how basketball was intended to be played. A team offense making the extra pass, moving the ball. This is the type of basketball that basketball people love to watch. Yeah, it's a beautiful brand of ball, for sure. Just a joy to watch. Booker, good. Booker. At the arc, Booker is pretty efficient. This man can hurt you from downtown if you're not careful. Halliburton, the pass to Heald. Ooh, too long in the paint, and he's hit with a three-second violation. What you have to admire about Devin Booker is how much he scores the rock, as well as all the different ways he's able to finish. And the technical free throw is good. And Booker is a guy you can lean on to help shoulder the offensive load, Richard. Yeah, he's comfortable taking a lot of shots for his team. He's a volume shooter for a reason, because he understands how to score at an efficient clip, too. A Kogi on the wing, guarded by... when Durant goes up with purpose and finishes over contact. Indiana on offense. Four-point game. Pass to heel. Halliburton outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Duarte. That three's off the mark. He's got to be mad at himself. You won't get a better look than that. Aiden passes to Booker. The three. Another three for Phoenix. Three. Yes, so good to see Booker knocking down the corner triple. A go-to score with considerable rage. Right side heel. Beyond the arc. Here's Neesmith. And a missed layup. For Phoenix, they've gone three of three so far from the floor. Booker for three. The shot won't fall. So Indiana will take it the other way. Heald passes to Halliburton. Turner with it. He's covered by Aiden. Pass to Duarte. Shoots over Booker. The shot by Duarte, no good. Phoenix has gone two for three from outside the arc. And there's Booker. That one's good. On the assist by Durant. Booker's got eight points. Just bouncing off a of contact. Booker putting in work in that weight room. Heald finds Halliburton. Now here's Turner. Stolen by Aiton. Here's Booker. Again, the Suns good for two. They're starting to pull away here as their shots keep falling. Yeah, the D is looking helpless to stop them right now. They're doing whatever they want to do on offense. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. And when Aiden isn't playing basketball, either the live or video game version, he's often drawing. Yeah, I mean, he grew up wanting to be an architect. I actually hear that he loves blueprints. But probably his most famous sketch himself dunking on Joel Embiid his rookie year. Here's Turner. Buries it down low. And Turner's length is sometimes overwhelming for defenders, which is how he gets these shots to go. They double-team Durant. The kick out to Paul. To the inside. Outside Booker. The three is up. 
And it's Booker again missing. Indiana's gone 0 for 2 from outside. Here's Heel. And that one hits the back iron. The Suns leading. And Booker with the jam. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. They came out and bum rushed them. Huge difference in activity level from both teams tonight. Here's Duarte. Healed up top. Pass to Nee Smith. Launches a three. The shot off that time. And Phoenix the other way now. Here's Durant with the drive. And Durant with the big finish. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. They came out swinging, really setting the tone on offense, and the opposition has not been able to respond. Here's Duarte. The Suns getting their last shot to go. A minute 50 left in the first. Six to shoot. Here's Halliburton. Out to heel. Pass to Turner. Now Halliburton. He's guarded by Paul. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Indiana again missing. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Booker, good. Devin Booker. Balanced play has given them the lead and also quieted this crowd. They've played fantastic ball, and you can feel the hush that's come over this crowd. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. They're taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Next Got it into the teeth of the defense Jackson. and made them pay. At the line for Indiana. And so he hits the technical free throw. And it didn't take long for Phoenix to match the offer she ate and signed with the Indiana Pacers. Now, there was talk they might let Aiden walk after that fallout during their playoff exit. But Phoenix knew they needed to keep Aiden to remain a contender. The Suns making a switch here. Biombo, he's checked in for DeAndre Aiden. Craig comes in for Durant. Lee, he's checked in for Okogi. And Payne is Devin subbed Booker. in for Paul. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. And guys, to go on a big run, get some breathing space. It has to be a great play on each end. Here's Brissett. Here's Matherin. And Craig pulls it down. There's 31 seconds left in the first quarter. Left side, Booker. Count that one. Devin He's Booker. eight for ten from the field now. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. It also allows them to play inside out, which will make them even more difficult to defend. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. Here's Lee driving in. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Their offense is looking like a well-oiled machine, getting any look they want. Right about that. Seems like they haven't been the And so it's Phoenix. They're feeling great. A 21-point lead. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. We'll be right back with you shortly. Please give a big round of applause for your... And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. And guys, the Suns enjoying a nice lead here. Great offensive energy in that period. They're clearly on a mission. Can they keep up the pace? Who knows? But they're already in a great position to win this one. They've got T.J. McConnell, and it's Nuora in at power forward. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Pacers. Phoenix has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Here's Booker. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Booker's got 21 points in the game. Yeah, and you don't want to let Devin Booker get easy points in transition. Pass to Nimhart. Here's Brissett. 
Doesn't go that time. Ooh, good work defensively by Biombo. And the Phoenix Suns have been a completely different team since acquiring Chris Paul. He's the leader of this team, and he helps set the tone on both Devin ends. Booker. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Here's Brissett. And Biombo with the block. Booker on the take. Played it in Devin with a Booker. nice touch off the window. He's got 25. Boy, the city of Phoenix really embracing Chris Paul as soon as he arrived. Yeah, I mean, he's in the latter stages of his career now. But you would never know it based on how hard he plays every single night. He just makes everyone on this team so much better. Here's Brissett. Indiana again missing. The Suns have gone three of three to begin the second. Here's Payne, using his post moves to get the two points. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Yeah, they're gonna do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. Now a timeout called by Indiana. And legacies are defined in the playoffs. Game to game, what's the measure of greatness for a star player in your mind, Grant? Well, B.A., I think it's all about consistency. The great ones in this league historically Bring it every night. They may have a bad game here or there, but for the most part, the energy, the effort, and the consistency is always there. And the Suns going with a whole new group out there. Here's Matherin, guarded by Ross. Will it go? The Pacers again can't hit. The Suns have gotten off to a perfect 4 for 4 start of the second. Paul with it. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. And they recover it. Second shot opportunity. Count it. This is the length that Durant provides on the offensive boards. Love whenever he puts it to use like this. Pass to Matherin. Here's Neesmith. Outside heel. The Pacers again can't hit. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. In a major drought, need to find some sort of momentum. Here's a three from Paul. Hits the trifecta. Paul. From For deep. Paul doesn't hold back on pulling the trigger, especially when he sees the chance. And last year's outcome, so unfortunate for Paul and the Phoenix Suns, Grant. Yeah, B.A., I mean, the best record in the league by eight games. You know, it kind of seemed like Paul might finally get that ring. Just a heartbreaking loss for them against Dallas in Game 7. And he shows the focus there. Nails the tee. Hill, he's checked in for Indiana. Halliburton comes in for McConnell. Heel finds Hill. And it's all from three-point range. The Suns have gotten six of their seven shots to go in the second quarter. Here's Okogi. That's good. And so Josh Durant Okogie. with the assist. Okogi's got his first bucket in this one. Such a great passer at his position. Dimes like this are why KD is a winner. Here's the teardrop. Oh, denied by Durant. Ross passes to Aiden. And Aiden with the stuff. Yeah, looking at Aiden using all of his height and reach, slamming it down on a helpless defense. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Here's Neesmith, guarded by Duran. Up top Hill, over Ross. Hill can't connect. Probably not the shot they had in mind. But you can't fault him. He had a clean look. And he was Pistons fouled foul. while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. And even from where we're first sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. Shooting and he makes a first. Terrence Ross at the line for two. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. 1.43 left in the second quarter. Outside, Hill. Pass to Neesmith. 
shoots over Durant. And Durant with the block. A tremendous defender. Durant's length can cause major issues for the offense. And that's how you defend. Glad we had a chance to see a replay of that block again. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. One twenty-seven left to play in the first half. Four on the clock. Here's Halliburton. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. Really unfazed. Throw his height right out the window there. Down low. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. <laughs> leaving absolutely nothing on the table right now. Their focus and execution has been outstanding. It's caused them to pull away a bit. Let's see if they can keep the train on the tracks. Halliburton for three. Durant pulls it in. Durant's got four rebounds in the game. To the middle. Here's Ross. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. Their offense is looking like a well-oiled machine. Getting any look they want. Right about that. Seems like they haven't missed. Stolen by Ross. To the paint. And count the basket. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. And some changes here for the Pacers. Norris checked in for Neesmith. Dorte comes in for Heald. And it's Nimhart in for Hill. Devin Booker, he's checked in for Phoenix. Payne comes in for Paul. All right, here's a tip for the defense in this one. Avoid sending Chris Paul to the line at all costs because he will punish you if you do. Here's Nora. Finds the bottom from 13 feet out. Phoenix has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. Out of bounds. It'll be Indiana's ball. We've got 22 seconds left in the first half. It's stolen away. And they're running. And he lobs it up top. And Aiden with the stuff. Excellent timing by Aiden on the alley-oop pass. He's perfectly positioned to throw it down. With some arc. The shot by Duarte no good. And so it's Phoenix, the the and they're up an insane goal. amount going into Your the break. Pacers. Their efficiency has been off the, the charts. Goal. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Devin Booker had it going on in the first quarter. He had 25 points and one rebound. Kenny, let's start with you. What did you think about the Suns? Credit these guys for coming in with the right game plan and then patiently executing. Most of their shots that come in the flow of the offense. Rarely did they take a bad shot. Good first half. Then over to you, big fella. Your thoughts on the Pacers first half. They're not shooting it well so far. Actually, they've been terrible. Fellas, I got an idea. Feed the post. Let the big man eat. Jeez. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Boy, we're seeing a tremendous game from Devin Booker. You just love his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. You love guys who can get their shots within the flow of the offense. And so in the game for the Suns, the deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. Kevin Durant is out there with DeAndre Ayton. And it's Okogi in at the small forward position. Here's Halliburton. Goes back up. And he lays it up and in. Halliburton's got five now. 
Oh, beating everyone to the ball. Great activity on the offensive glass. Booker goes in, lays it up, and banks Devin it in. Booker. There is no on-off switch for Booker. He is always in attack mode. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. And this is exactly what you'd love to see. Up big, not letting up, keep on applying pressure to their defense. Pass to Neesmith. Turner against Hayden. Shot clock at six. Here's Duarte. From the arc. That one is off. Excellent D there from Booker. And he gets that one. Devin Booker. Booker's got 29 points. Plays hard in every facet of the game. Nothing that Booker can't do. Outside heel. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. The officials were right on top of that one. At the line. For the Pacers. The first free throw is good. Greg is checked in for the Sun. Two shots. And both free throws good for Halliburton. Phoenix has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Outside Booker. There's the three. He can't hit that time. So the Pacers will take it the other way. Healed from outside. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Ayton's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Booker, the pass to Paul. Good on the shot. Paul's gotten his second bucket. Great decision making from Booker, realizing one of his guys is open and whips the pass to him. Pass to Heal. Halliburton outside. For three. And Heal. Good for three. Heal's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And that's on the defense there. Gotta know the scouting report and understand that he loves his shot. He finds a shooter in motion and is confident he can thread him with the lead pass. Well done. Here's Matherin. The three ball. Indiana foul. Aaron Neesmith. First personal foul. And the Pacers making a change here. McConnell's checked in. Biombo, he's checked in for the Suns. Lee comes in for Durant. The Suns have gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. Craig finds Booker. Here's the three. The rebound by Neesmith for Indiana. They've got just two of six in the second half. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. The NBA last season celebrated its 75th anniversary and announced the 75 greatest players in NBA history, gathering the living greats during the All-Star break. A lot of history, but Commissioner Silver said, we're a pretty young league when you think about it. Brian, I guess it's all relative. Yeah, indeed. Thanks for that, Allie. Brissett's checked in for Indiana. Hill comes in for Heald. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Here's Booker. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Already a terrific career for Booker. Three-time All-Star. And then last year, he was named to the All-NBA first team. Just a big honor. First one falls, and with Booker, it's not just the scoring. Grant, he does a little bit of everything. Hey, B.A., I mean, you go back and look at last season. He had career highs in rebounds, steals, blocks. I mean, he's learned how to affect the game, even when his shot isn't falling, which is rare. Back to McConnell. To the inside. Pass to Brissett. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Brissett's got his first two points. That's just smart basketball right there. Finding a way to get a high percentage shot on offense. Breakdown for the defenders, and you can't ask for an easier bucket than that. Indiana has gone one of four here in the third from range. Back to McConnell. Here's Turner. 
Second chance effort. He's off on that one. And Phoenix the other way now. Pass to Craig. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Good passing to set that up. Teamwork on display. Outside, Hill. 151 left in the third. McConnell against Paul. Turner with it. All alone. Just five to shoot. It's rebounded by Biombo. Biombo's got four rebounds now. Here's Booker. Down it. Good. Devin Booker. Booker's got eight points here in the quarter. Crafty play by Booker inside, navigating to a point blank look at the basket. Outside, Hill. Pass to Matherin. Puts up a three. Count it from distance. The defense takes a chance, leaves him open at the arc, and he capitalizes. Here's Lee. Outside Booker. Three pointer. Back to Paul. Fires the three. And there's Booker. That one's good. On the assist by Paul. Booker's got 11 points here in the second half. Outside, Hill. There's 47 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's McConnell. Rebounded by Chris Paul. For Phoenix, they've gotten 8 of 11 shots to go in. Efficient so far in the third. Lee takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Corey Craig. Oh, that was nasty. A two-hand mega slam. Man, I don't think anyone was going to stop him there. Outside, Hill. Pass to Matherin. Here's Brissett, defended by Craig. And that's going to be a travel. That's a costly error. Now let's see how they bounce back. Well, they don't have time to dwell on that. They just need to learn from their mistakes and move forward. Next play. Outside Ross. Here's Biumbo. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Since halftime, they have been efficient and effective, making Coach very happy. Well, I credit some of that to their communication out on the floor. They are attacking as a unit. Pass to Brissett. Here's Duarte. They need this. That shot off the mark. Devin Booker. He's feeling it tonight. He's been the driving force for the Suns. He's nearing the 40-point mark, just getting whatever shot he wants. Back after this. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. That wasn't a better pass in the game, almost like he had a sixth sense. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. They've got Jalen Smith. He's out there with Jackson. And it's Nimhard in at the one. That's the five for the Pacers. Oh, what tremendous focus to absorb the contact and find a way there to finish. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Suns. Campaign is the perfect example of how beneficial the G League can be, Richard. Yeah, it gave him a chance to play real minutes, and it kept him sharpening his skill. Then he got to come back into the league better than ever. A true success story. Pass to Baisley. No luck on that one. Ooh, excellent D there from Smith. Knocked loose. It's Ross on the wing. Uses the glass on the layup. Showing he's more than just a score. Warren is good at finding his teammates when they're uncovered. 
Pass to Duarte. Now Jackson. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. First personal foul. First team foul. And that one falls for Jackson. Hill, he's checked in for Indiana. Jackson, two shots. And so Jackson nails both of them. Phoenix has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Here's Payne. Soft touch off the glass. Payne's got four points now in the quarter. Payne's gone a perfect three for three so far. Pass to Nora. And here's Smith. Here's Duarte, guarded by Ross. The shot by Duarte, no good. The Suns have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Down low, here's Baisley, and denied! He sends it right off the glass. Here's Nora, he's covered by Warren, and TJ Warren is gonna pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Heels checked in for Duarte, and the Suns also making a change. Lee, he's checked in for Biombo. Here's Jackson. Pass to Hill. Oh, they get a hand on it. And he gets it back. Here's Smith. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? Yeah, you can feel Coach Some smiling ball. on the sidelines with every offensive board. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. Here's Lee. He Darius goes up Lee. strong with a one-handed jam. Darius oh, man. Exploding to the rim. Yep. Makes the simple play. Pass to Nora. Payne against Hill. It's tipped. And they're able to recover. A nice shot by Smith. The Suns have gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Payne with the bucket. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. And no lack of aggression on that move. Good for the 2K drive. For Indiana, they've gone two for seven from the field here in the fourth. Not great. Back to Hill. Pass to Jackson. Heel to the ball. Second chance shot. And a nice finish on the layup. Just another way for Heal to generate offense, making good on that second chance opportunity. Here's Baisley. And he jams it home with authority. The B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. Pass to Heal. Now Smith. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Personal foul. Third team foul. First one falls for him. The Pacers making a switch here. McConnell's checked in. Craig is checked in for the Suns. Shamit comes in for Payne. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. The Suns have gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. Here's Shamit. And the layup is good off the glass. Assisted by Love to see him inside passing like this, as well as guys being on the same page. Pass to Nora. Back to McConnell. Hill for three. That one no good. The Suns go the other way with it. Here's Baisley. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Indiana's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Here's Nora. He's covered by Warren. Back to McConnell. And the 
again. It's Phoenix with the rebound. Craig's got five rebounds tonight. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Suns. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Greg. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Devin Booker. And he was getting buckets all night long, giving the defense that work. Outside, Hill. Pass to Nora. To stop the run. And he sinks the layup. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in, coming off that pick. Here's Shaman. He's marked by McConnell. And he gets the bucket. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and seal the game. Saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. Back to Hill. And he banks in the layup. It's nice they found their rhythm here, but the clock is just not their friend. It's a shame, really. If they had been playing like this last quarter, they might be in a different situation right now. Here's Lee. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Hill the pass to Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. And although he's undersized in his position, his vertical, yeah, that'll clean up a few mistakes. Pass to Shaman. From outside the arc, another three for Phoenix. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. All oh, road wins. They're just so sweet. They're just so That's sweet. Do you know game. why? Because they are so hard to come by. So it's the Suns winning this one easily. Please to walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. So long, everybody.